When Finance Minister Mahmoud Njai announced that 143 million out of the approved 500 million dollars have already been spent, Gambia participates as an anti-corruption body. They are compelled to launch an investigation to establish if the millions of dollars for the fight against COVID-19 are being disbursed accordingly. Mar Nyang, executive director of Gambia Participates, says government from the onset has not been forthcoming as a request sent to the Ministry of Finance and health for a detailed breakdown of expenses was denied, warranting their subsequent visits to Bansang, Soma and Basse, all of which have identified COVID-19 treatment centers to ascertain if these centers in fact qualify to be treatment centers. Out of this 143 million, where 3.3 million was spent on sanitary items, Basse was supplied with only six hand sanitizers. During the course of the research, Basse don't have a mere overhead thermometer which is used to determine the fever of someone else so where you will be able to identify if the person is suspected of COVID-19 or not. We also went to their identified isolation center. This isolation center is close to their pediatric unit and then um, the isolation center has two, I mean three beds, one without a mattress and the two beds are as old as five to a decade old and uh, um, you know, the, the condition of the toilets are unbearable. I mean, I mean, even a healthy person cannot use that particular um, toilet. And we also revealed that at Soma, where you have almost 230,000, if not more, population that are living within that region, the whole of the region only have one um, overhead thermometer, which is not in fact in the hospital. It is used at the, at the border post. We uh, also proceed to Bansang. Um, unfortunately, the officials don't they didn't cooperate. Um, they said we need to have a permission from the Minister of Health for us to ask you how prepared are you, which is also those which does not make any sense to us. According to Mr. Yang, the investigation for the showed a difference of over a million dollars in the total amount spent. If you look at, uh, for example, hotel expenditure, they, according to our analysis, there is a difference of $138,000. If you look at the expenditure on food, there is a difference of $744,200. So sanitary items and then hotel, all together there is a difference of $1,073,364, which is not um, reported. And that press release also only identified the $500 million. Remember, we have $512 million. $12 million was initially spent and it added up on the 500, which is amounting to 512 million. Programs manager of Gambia Participates, Tasli Majalo, says government should not see them as enemies. We are not um, enemies of the government. In fact, we are partners to development. And obviously, it's also good, no matter how good um, a sitting government is doing, it's also important that civil society also remind them and, of course, complement you know, their efforts. And we will continue doing what we are doing. And everybody who knows Gambia Participate knows us you know, on this field, trying to help you know, support government. We are not saying the government is corrupt. But, of course, also there might be individuals you know, that are corrupt within the system or that might be practicing an act of corruption. But, of course, also some of them might not even know. But it would be also good for us to be, also be able to remind them that so-and-so act is not right and so-and-so. Based on the findings published in the report Corona, the Gambia and the Millions, these identified COVID-19 treatment centers in Bansang, Basse and Soma are ill-equipped and need urgent attention. The report has been formally submitted to Parliament to guide them in their proceedings. Copies will also be sent to government institutions. By providing central government with copies of the report, it is believed that necessary actions will be taken to trace the monies and those found wanting be held accountable. Reporting for Paradise TV News, Lamin Fowl.